Hello everybody, Chris here, and today I want to talk a bit about Google Street View and how you can use Google Maps in order to basically view all of these different pictures that Google employees have taken, uh, whether on foot or with a car, usually with a car, I mean, obviously, since it's in the street. Um, and using these the Street View, you're actually able to see any environment, any part of a neighborhood, and basically almost anywhere on Earth that humans can easily get to without actually going to it so it's a very cool feature now if you don't already know about google maps and these map tools you can of course use them for uh, basically finding out your route for how to get from point a to point b but this feature uh, as i mentioned allows you to basically see anywhere on earth almost anywhere on earth so you use street view by actually going down here to the bottom right hand corner uh, usually it's going to be indicated by just a guy and what you do with this guy is you actually drag him onto the map anywhere that there is a blue line you can kind of see in big cities like denver um, when you get to the downtown area almost everywhere in there actually has a street view available um, so what it means when a street view is available like this where it's all blue um, just means that Google has been there before. Google has taken images and uh, yeah, you, and they've posted it all up on the web for basically anybody to go ahead and view. So let's go ahead and try this out here. So we'll just drop it on some random street here and uh, pretty close to downtown Denver. And you can see now, we just went straight from Google Maps into the street view where literally it's as if we were actually standing in Denver, Colorado, which is really crazy if you think about it. You could be on the other side of the planet and you can go and check out a city without ever having to be there. So what you can also do from here, uh, by the way, in case you didn't realize, these are static images, so it's not a live feed or anything like that. So this guy who's crossing the crosswalk, He'll always be there. But anyway, what you can do from here, if you actually want to navigate, is you don't have to hit the back button over here on the left to go all the way back to the map and then find a new location to drop down, though you certainly can. What you can do if you just want to go down the street is, you see here how I hover over the street and it has this arrow? If I double click with my mouse, wherever that symbol is, it's going to go down the street almost as if we were in the Google car taking the pictures itself. And we can keep going out down and on and on and on essentially forever you could if you really wanted to take this and go all the way down an interstate highway which would be interesting but i mean might take you a lot of time so let me show you a couple of cooler things uh about this feature um it's not just for cities you can actually use this uh for out of the way areas sometimes so let's say you wanted to go to a national forest, something along the lines of Yellowstone. I'm not actually going to go find it. You'll notice that when we bring up the street view, um, you can get somewhere into the national forest. It's not going to have everywhere there because obviously to have a guy deep within the woods with all the wild animals taking photos, there's a lot of logistics in that. Um, but you can get pretty close. So up here on this road, we can basically drop down here and it's almost as if we had just gone to visit the uh, national forests, which is also pretty awesome. It's a great way to actually sightsee the world. Um, now, you may have noticed uh, there were actually some really tiny dots here, and these dots are one-off uh, images or photospheres, I guess. So let's actually drop down on one of those. Uh, you can see here that it has basically a what's what. I forget what those are called for maps. Okay, so let's go drop down here on this photosphere. So along their accumulation of images, and I believe that some of these photospheres are actually user um, submitted, like this one here is by Dan Swanson. Uh, they have these photospheres where people have actually gone out and gone to the best parts of the wilderness, hiked up there, and uh, you can actually see some pretty good scenery uh, this seems like it's either low resolution. Okay, I thought it might have been taking a while to load as well. Okay, so now that's much, much better, as if it had been taken by a good camera. It probably was taken by a good camera. And we can see all around us uh, these mountains over here, uh, beautiful forests, really lush and green scenery, and a lot of crazy things in the distance, which would be really fun to go and hike to. So, all in all, Google Maps, the street view, 
is great for exploring the world. It really is. Um, <laughs> I can only imagine the logistics they had to do to get this system up and running. But if you haven't ever used Street View on Google Maps, I definitely recommend you give it a try. Anywhere you want to see in the world, maybe somewhere you want to go and visit, uh, or and not maybe maybe not to visit even, maybe to live, you can actually go check it out ahead of time, see what you're getting yourself into, um, kind of get a sense of what maybe it's like in a foreign country before you go on vacation. Um, it's like the cheapest way to take a vacation whatsoever. Anyway, I've been Chris. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at Google Maps and Street View with me. It is definitely a great tool that pretty much everybody who has an internet access should try one time or another. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know down below. And until my next video, I'll see you then.